Hey guys, I'm back for another Eurovision reaction request. Now this one is coming from Facebook and it is from Samuel Lee and it's for Russia 1994, um, a song called Eternal Wanderer by Udif. Now I'll be honest, I do know this song already, but I'm happy to watch through the performance again, give you my opinion. Um, but before we go on, Samuel actually uh, is from Australia and I know that he does like a, a radio show or, or podcast. It's very much worth listening to. So Samuel, if you're watching this, drop the link in the comments below the video and we will put it in the description so that people can check out your podcast. But otherwise, let's go on and see what you think of Udif. Oh, con conductor not wearing a shirt. Like the beginning sounds kind of um, like you're on a beach, if that makes any sense at all. Oh, this is where she starts playing with the dress. It's like the most versatile dress ever. She's got a really powerful voice actually. She's already blasting out those notes. And hitting that high note. The chorus is quite anthemic to this song, I think. Like, the verses are quite soft. Then she just belts out this powerful chorus. I want a dress like this. Someone tell me something though. I was always told that if you have red hair, you should never wear red clothes. Because it clashes. She's doing a lot of praying. Oh, here we go, like with that powerful voice again. The stage this year as well, I think was fantastic. So this would have been in uh, Dublin, Ireland. And like, it's huge, like for that time. I don't think Eurovision stages used to be that big. Ooh, that was a good note. Oh, well done, well done. Totally honest, love that song, guys. Um, it's kind of got like this beachy feel at the beginning. Then she comes out and does these quite soft like verses and then the power in the chorus um, was amazing. Now I looked this one up and this one did come top 10. It's Russia's first Eurovision song. Well worthy of the top 10 placing, I reckon, but we have to talk about that dress. How amazing is that dress? Um, I kind of want to get a bed sheet and, and wrap it around myself and put my arms up here. Um, yeah, fantastic. Big props to the designer of that dress because you didn't really used to use props so much, I don't think, at Eurovision back in those days. So to use your dress as a prop was uh, a really good idea. So yeah, great request. Thank you for that one, Samuel Lee. Um, but guys, don't forget to leave me in the comments below what other Eurovision songs you want me to react to. Otherwise, give us a like on Facebook, find us on Twitter and also on Instagram. But until next time, see ya.